If you guys are looking for any cheap and reliable Foot21 coins, make sure to head over to u7buy.com. They sell the cheapest coins and also sell players off their website. So make sure to use code MUZ for 5% off at checkout. Link in the description. Yes, lads, and we are finally back with the player reviews. Today, we're going to be reviewing the big man, Mr. Patrick Vieira, who I did, in fact, pack from a base icon pack. I took the risk, and it paid off massively. So, what I'm going to be doing, basically, the first couple of minutes, the first, like, two minutes or so of this um, video, you're going to see Vieira playing at centre-back. So, I didn't get loads of clips of him at centre-back, because I dominate a lot of the games. My opponents usually have, like, 40% of the ball-ish. Um, so you'll see some at centre back and then some in centre mid as well um, in a 4 4 2. I always play 4 4 2. Um, so yeah, if you guys could drop a like, if you want to, if you want me to do more reviews, do let me know as well, and I will bring some more reviews to the channel. So anyway, let's jump into his skill moves, weak foot. He's three star, three star, which is a little bit of an issue if you're playing him centre mid. I personally love having a four star skill move at least in midfield. I usually love Luka Modric. He's one of my favourite midfielders this year. Uh, De Jong as well. Love the four star skill moves. I mean, look at that tackle, by the way. Vieira's tackling is just outrageous. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit of a downside, but not a huge downside. Um, he is medium-medium as well, which is a little bit annoying. You'd like him to be medium-high, really. Uh, but if you do put a stay back while attacking on him, he will stay back majority of the time. His key start, obviously, 91 strength. He's got, like, 92 aggression as well, which is insane. So, he's coming in at around 2 million on PS4 or PS5 and obviously Xbox is 1.6 which is it's it's, it's alright price it's very expensive for a baby Vieira but you're getting a, a 6 foot 4 tank I mean look at his build the presence of him being 6 foot 4 you can just see how big he is on the pitch he's absolutely huge and he's um, his stance and stuff that like some of the angles he wins the ball back he's just outrageous anyway let's jump into his pros so he's got um, decent little bit of pace he's got 82 acceleration with 80 sprint speed which is not too bad at all um, as a centre back that's insane if you think how quick that is um, at centre back I do put a shadow on him as well to boost it to like 86 I believe it is um, which is very nice um, if you do play him in midfield as well I probably would put I would probably put a shadow on him, whether you're playing in midfield or whatever, which is very nice. Uh, interceptions, it's got insane interceptions, 90 interceptions, along with being six foot four. Them two contrast insanely well together, literally insanely well. Um, stand tackle as well, 89 stand tackle. You'll, that's why he he rarely loses 50-50s, obviously. I mean, this is this FIFA has one of the worst tackling mechanics ever. I'm sure a lot of you guys know, you win the ball back five times. And never, uh, you never win the ball back. He bounced back to their opponent all the time. But with Patrick Vieira, it's very rare that it goes back to the opponent. He's just an absolute tank, being six foot four as well. Um, obviously six foot four. Uh, strength, he's ninety one strength with ninety three aggression. I've already mentioned that. Insane, being six foot four as well with that strength is insane. Um, surprisingly, his build because his build's quite like slim. It's not the fattest build, body type. He doesn't feel as clunky as you'd think. He is a little bit clunky. But not as clunky as you'd think for a six foot four uh, guy. The amount of times I'm going to say six foot four here, holy moly! I'll try not to mention it again. Uh, reactions, it, reactions are insane as well. He has got where's his reactions? His reactions are very very good. He has got 90 reactions, which is outrageous for us. Now nah, I'm going to say it. 90 reactions. What a beast! Composure 92 as well. Um, Composure is a big stat for defensive players, especially because um, yeah, it, it's a huge stat this year. I've read into it a lot. Um, that 6,000 word essay they put at the start of the game. Um, I read that composure and like attacking positioning for attackers and stuff like that. It's a lot more important this year. So that's huge having 92 composure uh, for a defensive minded player. Um, so that's all of his pros and also short passing as well. He does have 86 short passing, which is very, very good, obviously, and 85 long passing as well. But I couldn't fit it on the pros. We can't fit them all on, boys, but he's got a good short passing and long passing and also vision. He's got 89 vision. So into the cons, he has got 3 star, 3 star. Uh, for me personally, that is a big issue, like I said, because I do play 4 4 2. And a lot of my goals are like my centre mids are involved in a lot of the play. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so Vieira. It does hurt a little bit. That's why I think his best position is centre-back. I probably should have said that earlier in the video. I personally think this baby Vieira's best position is centre-back rather than midfield. Um, but he's still more than usable in midfield. Way more. Uh, very usable in midfield. Um, and then also work rates. Obviously work, rate, work rates are a huge issue. Um, I've struggled to find cons. I'm not going to lie. So I've had to be a bit picky. Uh, medium-medium is a little bit annoying. Um, both like... 
it's not the best box to box work rates it's not the best defensive work rates it's just sort of like meh it's not the best not the worst uh, but medium medium I mean as long as you put the instructions you want if you want him to get forward um, he's actually got all right finishing as well for a centre mid uh, I didn't want to put that as a pro because it would be a bit stupid but he's got 78 shot power 75 long shots with 74 finishing as well with 76 attacking positioning so all of his finishing stats are actually really nice as well by the way this game he played out of his mind my first couple of games I had insane delay like really bad delay as well so I didn't get loads of clips but the last like three minutes of the video or something like I had really good gameplay and uh, that benefited Vieira a lot um, in bad gameplay as well I will say Vieira you, you don't see him a lot because uh, he turns so slow as well you don't see him a lot um, and then agility and balance he has got 71 agility 69 balance I don't want to say it but I've got a because he's six foot four um, having that uh, 71 agility 69 balance 76 dribbling as well does make him clunky in tight areas especially you can't do really nippy dribbling obviously just do the simple stuff with him you, you always have to do the simple stuff um, just pass it off quickly that's why you won't see loads of the times I'm driving forward with him you will see he's got a bit of horsepower behind his pace though you guys will see I think I scored well I do score near to the end that was a nice little goal from Krasko um, you'll see near to the end he actually scores it, it might be this actually look at, look at the horsepower on him when he gets going he, he's pretty fast absolutely love it and then finally curve um, you might not think that's a huge issue. Obviously, curve can be finesse shots as well. Um, but curve, I put curve because with long passing, even though he's got good long passing, um, he will hit most long passes quite straight rather than like curving them. Because um, if he tries to curve them, I mean, a lot of the time he does it into the defender. Um, so if you're trying to curve it around a defender, just know that the defender's probably going to intercept it. Um, so, I mean, absolute beast card. Absolutely love the guy. So there's his pros and cons. And do I think he's worth the coins? I don't know. He's such a tough one. Because it's so much for an icon. But at the same time, it's Baby Vieira. Um, I'm personally going to be playing him centre-back, like I said. Um, but he can play both CDM and centre-mid. If he's going to play CDM, I don't know if I'd play him as the out-and-out -out CDM. Um, I feel like you might need a medium-high next to him. You could potentially play him as like the more attacking CDM. Um, get him forward, because he has got really good finishing. And having them physicals in the final third... You might win the ball back quite high up as well, which is very, very nice. I don't know what formation you guys play. Like I said, I the only formation I play this year is 4-4-2. It's by far the best one, in my opinion, um, just for the way I play. Having two strikers, I feel like all one striker formations this year don't work anywhere near as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I just prefer two striker formation. Um, so, yeah, overall, Vieira is just an absolute tank. I've used him for about probably like 10 games now, but I recorded maybe like three for this video. Um, so, after using him for 10 games, very, very good. Um, quite quiet in delayed gameplay, I will say that though. I've had a lot of delayed gameplay. I probably had about six or seven games in delayed gameplay um, today. And he's very quiet. You couldn't really... I, I didn't notice him. Do you know when you notice a player playing insane? First couple of games though, in good gameplay, was insane. Uh, but overall, um, didn't really notice him much. But um, overall, absolutely buzzing with the pull. Very, very lucky to pack him. Obviously, very good links as well because he's French. And uh, does link to everyone as well, So, which is very nice. So... Anyway, boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you do have any questions, do let me know as well. Let me know if you guys will be doing him, um, if you're thinking of getting him. Maybe you guys have packed him as well. Let me know if you did pack him as well, if you're part of the, the big PV, pig, PV pack pulls, boys. PV pack pulls. Big Patrick Vieira. Right, okay. Anyway, boys, if you guys could apply, that'd be sick. 50 likes would be sick. Drop some if you're new, and I will be back with some reviews very soon. Catch you in the next one. Peace.